question one make up as many expressions with numbers and no variables has to be used as you can from three numbers that is five seven and eight every number should be used not more than once use only addition subtraction and multiplication hint three possible expressions are five plus eight minus seven five minus eight minus seven five into eight plus seven make the other expressions so these are the following expressions that can be made out of these three numbers however making these expressions would be a hectic job so in order to ease the process we will use a method we will do it row wise so this is your row how we will do it we will take first 5 into since we have only three operations with us that is addition subtraction and multiplication we don't have division so we will only change inside of the brackets in first row that is we will just use five multiplication in all the threes and change signs inside now the second row we use five minus in all the three expressions and then write column as it is that is seven plus eight here seven minus eight here and seven into eight here so we have done six expressions now three are left now we will use five plus okay in all the three expressions and inside remains same that is we will use 5 plus here 5 plus here 5 plus here and inside we will just copy this column 7 plus 8 7 minus 8 turn into 8 so this is a procedure in order to make different expressions for the given numbers so we have made for 5 7 and 8 so this was the question number first question second which out of the following are expressions with numbers only? So we have to find which of the expressions have numbers only. Here we have 5, so it is not numbers only. We will cross it. Now here we can see 7 into 20 are numbers, but minus 8z. Z is not a number, it's a variable. Therefore, we will cross it again. Now here we can clearly see that all are numbers. Therefore, it suits our criteria. Therefore, we will take it. Now 5 is also a constant it is not a variable so we will take it g part we can see at last we have p which is not a number therefore we will cross it now 3x again x is not a number therefore we will cross it and last also n is not a number we will cross it this was the question number two question number three identify the operations that is addition subtraction division multiplication in forming the following expressions and tell how the expressions have been formed so a part z plus 1 z minus 1 y plus 17 y minus 17 so in first case one is getting added therefore addition now in second case one is getting subtracted from z therefore subtraction is happening now 17 is getting added to y therefore addition and 17 is getting subtracted from y, therefore subtraction. Now b part, 17 y, then y by 17, then 5 into z. So in first case, y is getting multiplied with 17, therefore multiplication is happening. And y divided by 17, division is happening. And now here multiplication is happening. So we don't have to write multiplication whenever we are having a product of two numbers now for c part 2y plus 17 and 2y minus 17 in first case first y is getting multiplied therefore multiplication and then whatever the output is coming to that 17 is getting added up therefore we are having two operations that is multiplication and addition here again first multiplication is happening between 2 and y therefore we write multiplication here and then whatever the output is coming up to y from that 17 is getting subtracted so multiplication and subtractions are happening in this expression now d part 7m minus 7m plus 3 minus 7m minus 3 in first case only one operation is happening that is multiplication so m is getting multiplied to 7 here m is getting multiplied to minus 7 first of all and then what is happening the output is getting added up to 3 so multiplication and addition is happening now here first multiplication is happening 
that is of m and minus 7 and then whatever the output is coming of minus 7 into m from that 3 is getting subtracted so two operations are happening in this expression that is multiplication and subtraction so this is how you do your question number third question four give expressions for the following cases so we will do opposite of the earlier question 7 added to p in p 7 is getting added so we write p plus 7 now here initially we had p and 7 is getting subtracted therefore we write p minus 7 not 7 minus p that will be wrong only p minus 7 is correct because we are subtracting from p not from 7 now c part p multiplied by 7 here initially we had 7 by part has to be written first and then what is getting multiplied afterwards now p divided by y in case of division we write as it is as we say so p is divided by 7 it is simple for division p part 7 subtracted from minus m so initially we had minus m and from that 7 is getting subtracted therefore we write minus m minus 7 now f part minus p multiplied by 5 so initially we had 5 we have to write by part first of all and we are multiplying to it minus p therefore 5 into minus p now g part minus p divided by 5 division is simple we write as it is as we say so minus p is divided by 5 this was your g part h part p multiplied by minus 5 so by part first of all minus 5 and whatever it is getting multiplied with written afterwards therefore minus 5 into p this was your question number fourth question fifth give expressions in the following cases a part 11 added to 2m so initially we had 2m therefore we write 2m first and then 11 is getting added to it therefore we write 2m plus 11 this was the required expression for your a part b 11 subtracted from 2m so from part must be written first therefore 2m minus 11 because 11 is getting subtracted from 2m now c part 5 times y so y is getting multiplied 5 times therefore 5 pi which so whatever the output is coming 3 is getting added to it therefore we write 5 y plus 3 here 5 times y again the same thing y is getting multiplied 5 times from which whatever the output is coming minus 3 we have to do that is 3 is getting subtracted from the output therefore we write 5 minus 3 now y is multiplied by minus 8 it is very simple you have to just multiply both of them that is minus 8 pi will come as your expression for the e part f part y is multiplied by minus 8 first of all what is happening y and minus 8 are getting multiplied therefore we write minus 8 and y y part first and later whatever it is multiplying it is multiplying with y so minus 8 pi and then whatever the output is coming 5 is getting added to it added to the result of minus 8 y now y is multiplied by 5 so same thing here we are multiplying 5 with y and then the result so whatever the result it is getting subtracted from 16 therefore we are writing 16 first so it is 16 minus 5 pi however we will not do it the other way as we have done in the other part this part because it will be wrong why again if we check here it is minus 5 pi here it is plus 5 pi and here it is negative 16 here is 16 so the expressions will give different values therefore it is wrong these both expressions are not equal also if we check in depth so here also 5 pi is happening and the result is subtracted from 16 well no here result is getting subtracted from 5 pi whereas question was asking from 16 so therefore now y is multiplied by minus 5 so what we do we multiply minus 5 and y this is correct and the result is added to 16 well we are not adding it to 16 we are adding it to minus 5 pi here but however this is correct because if you see here p multiplied minus 5 with y we did it and whatever the result was it was getting added to 16 so this is the right way of writing it however both of these expressions are correct because 
we have learned from the previous exercises that addition is commutative in nature whereas subtraction is not commutative in nature that's why this is true these both expressions are true however they are not written correctly in one part that was the earlier part but this does not happen in in case of subtraction or in case of this why because subtraction is not commutative in nature therefore both the expressions are correct however if we see the correct one this is the right way to write as per the statement this was your question number 5 question 6 a form expressions using t and 4 use not more than one number operation every expression must have t in it b part form expressions using y 2 and 7 every expression must have y in it use only two number operations these should be different so these are the possible ways of expressions using two numbers that is t and 4 now how we can do it we will use again the simple method first we will use t and then add another number to it so t plus 4 similarly t minus 4 and multiplication of 4 and t can also happen and t divided by 4 so this is by taking consideration of t first of all similarly we can reciprocal it we can opposite it now we will use 4 first of all so 4 divided by t and 4 minus t we can write also 4 plus t and t4 t into 4 however one thing has to be kept in mind t4 and 4t that first got in this expression are same because multiplication is commutative in nature similarly 4 plus t and t plus 4 is similar why because addition is also commutative in nature commutative is just interchanging the two numbers but minus is not commutative in nature now b part form expression using these three numbers y2 and 7 so these are the possible ways how we can do it we will first associate 2 with y and 7 add afterwards so 2y plus 7 and 2y minus 7 two expressions and then 2y divided by 7 can also be done and if you multiply 7 into 2 we get 14 and multiply it with y now we will use 7 and y combination so 7 by plus 2 and 7 by minus 2 can also be there then 7 to the 14 by y initially we multiplied that is we multiplied as you can see here we multiplied 14 into y now here we are dividing now here last operation can be found as 7 by by 2 so this is the way in order to find the expressions for three numbers so this was the last question question number 